some more fingers are dead. Oh. What? Oh. <laughs> now all my fingers are dead. It just happened that quick. <laughs> What's up, guys? I'm Allie. This is Treat Yourself. And today I'm going to be talking about the Pennsylvania road trip that I went on with my parents last weekend. So, the first disclaimer that I have is that I have a sinus infection because, you know, moving from South Carolina to Delaware and then going to Pennsylvania and then back to Delaware and then I'm about to go back to South Carolina is just not good on your allergies. So, that's why I look and sound very bizarre right now. So, that's just, you know, getting that out there first and foremost. We went on this Pennsylvania book trip. We went to about five different bookstores basically for two reasons. Number one is that Steven just went to Korea so my parents kind of just put this all together as like a cheer me up and then number two is that my birthday was a couple of weeks ago so it was kind of like a belated birthday present kind of deal. I had so much fun and it was super awesome. So I have some great books that I got that I'm super excited for to show you guys and so let's just get into the itinerary and the books. So my dad actually made an itinerary. I don't know if you can see it but he like printed it out, used his computer and everything. It was very impressive. So the first night we just went and like had dinner with some friends and then um went to our hotel because it was kind of late and then saturday morning we got up and we were going to go to wellington square bookshop but it wasn't open yet so we went to the second bookshop and then came back to wellington and so the first bookshop was called baldwin's book barn and it was so cool like it was at a very cool spot very like colonial bumpy ponds everywhere like super cool very traditional style um and it had been a barn and a house and they kind of just like blended it together to make a bookstore and this book store was like ginormous this is by far the coolest bookstore that we went to in Pennsylvania it had like so many levels to it. It had like really creaky like old stairs and like really cool doors um that were huge and like from very it, they were just very old what i got i only got one book there because i kind of wanted to like limit myself to one book um a bookstore and so i got lilac girls um by martha hall kelly and this has been on my tbr for a really long time it's a historical fiction book um about world war ii and some a uh, nazi concentration camp for women and I feel like I'm going to learn a lot from this book. It's pretty hefty, so I don't know when I'm going to get to read it. But I was really excited to find this. And I only got it for $8. And it was super cool. And that bookstore was just amazing. The guy who owned it was, like, talking to us and stuff. And he was, like, putting all these books on the shelves. And literally, I don't even know if I got to, like, 20 percent of the bookstore like it was huge there was like five floors there was so much to look at and then by the way i will have all of these bookstore addresses down below if you guys are ever in the pennsylvania area or want to check out any of these bookstores because they were really awesome so the second one we went to was wellington square bookshop we went back to it it was a more like corporate style and but they have like super cute bag but it was like more of a corporate style but it was so pretty like they had like ladders like my just greatest joy in life is to have a bookshop big enough that i need a ladder like mm so awesome but anyways what i picked up i was super excited for i picked up 11 63 by stephen king and i cannot wait to get to this book i've heard such amazing things it is like really big it's like 800 and some pages so i also don't know when i'm going to get to that because i'm starting college soon but you know we'll see it it doesn't have like it has like kind of a large font so i don't know if it's going to take that long to get through but my dad said he really wanted to read this as well and the like spine is super cool got this for 19.99 it was the same price as like a barnes and noble so it was kind of more of a corporate shop it had a really cool cafe in there and like a really good selection of all the new books and my mom actually got midnight sun from that bookshop and she was super excited for that because i told her that it had just come out and then the third 
bookstore that we went to on Saturday was Kathy's Half Price Books and that was super awesome. There was so much to pick from and I actually got two books from this bookstore. They had some newer stuff but it was like specifically marked down if it was newer and it was still like at a good price but um, a lot of them were just awesome and I found some really awesome books from them and so I got A Gentleman in Moscow which was also on my TBR by Amor Towles and I cannot wait to read this. It is um, about 1922, 30 year old Count Alexander Rostov is deemed an unrepentant aristocrat by a Bolshevik tribunal sentenced to house arrest, grand hotel near the Kremlin. So just basically about his life and um, I just heard that it was a really, really good bestseller. And then the next book, I think I'm most excited about this book that I got this one. It was Lethal White by Robert Galbraith. And this is the next one in the series that I have been reading over a span of like two years. I love, love, love the series. It's J.K. Rowling, even though she's under a pen name, Robert Galbraith. But I am so excited to have this book because I literally just finished Career of Evil, which like is the third one in her series and it ended on like a major cliffhanger and I was like I need this book. I remember like talking to Steven on the phone and being like I need the next book pronto. I need to know what happened. So I finally got it and I was so excited and this was only $8.95 which is great because it's a hardback and it's a huge book. Gentleman in Moscow was $7.95 so that was also a really really good price and they had a hardback um two of the gentleman in Moscow but I just got the cheaper one because you know half price books it's, it's a great time and so then we went to our hotel chilled a little bit um we were like near Philadelphia and so all of the the two next bookstores that we went to were in like the heart of Philadelphia so it was a lot of city happenings and so the first thing we went to we actually we're going to go to Shakespeare and Co which is the next bookstore that I'm going to talk about but it was not opened until like like an hour like we were like an hour early kind of like the last one um the previous day so we went to Barnes and Noble in the heart of Philadelphia which was really cool it was awesome it was like very slender but like had like three stories so it was really cool to go in there I love Barnes and Noble like any chance that I get to go to a Barnes & Noble I'm gonna take it but I didn't get anything from Barnes & Noble just because I had just gone to Barnes & Noble and got some different books so we went to Shakespeare & Co it was super awesome it had like a second floor that was like kind of small it kind of looked like it had been like a restaurant or a cafe or something like that they had a cafe in there it wasn't open yet though um but it was super cool and I am super excited from the purchase that I got from there I got A Little Life by Anya Yan Yanagihara and I heard that this is an amazing book and I'm so excited to read it and the really cool thing was that like as I was checking out the guy who owned Shakespeare and Company like he was like this is a be like great find like a great choice this is a beautiful book super heartbreaking but you're gonna love it and I was like that is literally what I've heard about this book I'm so excited about this book so I will be reading this very soon probably because I've heard amazing things and I can't wait to read it. It's about um, college classmates move to New York all in search of like fame and ambition and there's this guy that they're like all held together by basically named Jude who is like has had a very bad childhood trauma and that's just it's basically just about a bond of friends and how that all plays out so I'm super excited about it. The summary is kind of vague so I really can't wait to read it to like really know what everybody is talking about and raving about about this book. And then at the very last bookstore we went to it was also in downtown Philadelphia on a little side street but it was called Brick Bat Books and it was kind of smaller. It didn't have really that much of a selection. I could tell that the owner was really into like music and stuff and he actually had like a bicycle in the store which was actually pretty cool to me. But um, what I got, I couldn't really find much but I got Closer to Find by Mary Weiss and it's basically about this girl named Alexandra and how her, she was really close to her older brother and her older brother ended up dying and so it's basically about the aftermath of that and how Alex like meets somebody at her brother's funeral and I think falls in love with him so I think it's just a really good telling about that so I'm super excited about that and I got this 
first one for $9.95, so that's always a good steal. But those are all the books that I got during my Pennsylvania book trip, and I was super excited to go on this book trip, and I think that I'm going to do like a different state later and kind of try to make that a tradition a little bit with my parents. So if you want to check out any of these bookstores, then they will be down below in the comments. Um, and comment what book I should read first. I will see you guys later in my next video. Bye!